Welcome to Retro Needy, where we have a mighty need for nostalgia. Today, we're taking a look at 10 nostalgic 80s TV shows. What was your favorite show from the 80s? Share with us in the comments. Number 10, The Wonder Years. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Premiering in 1988, The Wonder Years starred Fred Savage as Kevin Arnold, a young boy growing up in suburban America in the late 1960s through the early 1970s. The show is told in a flashback kind of way from Kevin Arnold's point of view, showcasing his struggles as a young adult. With bully, school, and girls, the show kept audiences captivated until its cancellation in 1993. Number 9. Miami Vice This buddy cop drama TV series ran for five seasons on NBC, starting in 1984 and ending in 1989. Miami Vice centers around two cops, Sonny Crockett and Rico Tubbs, cracking down on bad guys in Miami. A lot of 80s fashion fads were highly inspired by Miami Vice, including fancy sports cars, wearing Ray-Ban sunglasses, and we can't forget those pastel suits and blazers. Number 8. Unsolved Mysteries The original Unsolved Mysteries show premiered in 1987. Robert Stack was the main host who would narrate the story of the night. This show was significant because not only did they air crime shows in a documentary slash reenactment style, but some of the stories were about paranormal or supernatural things, such as alien abductions or ghosts. Number 7. The Cosby Show Although the show's legacy is now considered tarnished due to the Bill Cosby indecency charges, back in the mid-1980s, The Cosby Show was a well-performing show, hitting primetime number one rankings for five seasons. The success of The Cosby Show did, however, help pave the way for other successful black-led sitcoms and TV shows, such as Family Matters and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Number 6. Growing Pains In 1985, we were introduced to Growing Pains, a show about the Seaver family in Long Island, New York. Dr. Jason Seaver is a work-from-home psychiatrist. His wife, Maggie, has gone back to work as a reporter, leaving Jason to be the stay-at-home dad. In Season 7, Growing Pains added Leonardo DiCaprio to the recurring cast as the unofficial adopted son of the family. Number 5. Saved by the Bell when I wake up in the in 1989, we got Saved by the Bell, a show about teens at the fictional Bayside High School in Los Angeles, doing hilariously comedic teen things at their part-time jobs, during school assignments, social engagements, and every once in a while, the show would touch on some serious topics, like drug abuse, death, or environmental issues. But most of the time, the show was a fun comedy to be enjoyed by the youth of the day. Number 4. Family Ties Family Ties premiered in 1982 and ran through 1989. This sitcom starred Michael J. Fox as young Republican Alex P. Keaton. A lot of the comedy on this show focuses on the relationship between Alex's parents, both former 1960s hippies, and the cultural clash with their children, especially Alex's very conservative views. I gotta hand it to Michael J. Fox on this one. In 1985, he worked on both Back to the Future and Family Ties, sometimes on the same day. Number 3. Quantum Leap Scott Bakula stars as Dr. Sam Beckett, who is stuck involuntarily leaping through time into people's bodies in this 1989 sci-fi TV series. Each episode centers around Sam trying to correct something about the life that he has leapt into. With only a hologram of his friend Al that only Sam can see, they struggle to find a way to have Sam leap back home into his own body. 
Number two, The Golden Girls. Thank you for being a friend. Dorothy, Rose, Blanche, and Sophia grabbed at everyone's hearts and funny bones in 1986 with The Golden Girls. This sitcom goes to show that four old ladies living together in a home are a lot more fun than it sounds. During its original run, The Golden Girls received 68 Emmy nominations, 11 Emmy awards, and four Golden Globes. And all the lead actresses won their own Emmy awards for their roles. Number one, Knight Rider. <laughs> The original Knight Rider series first aired on television in 1982 with the adventures of Michael Knight and his new indestructible AI car named Kit, fighting crime for the Foundation for Law and Government, aka FLAG. The car used for Kit was a customized 1982 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, and due to the popularity of the show, superfans urged to get their hands on a car that looked just like Kit. We hope you enjoyed our top 10 list of nostalgic 80s TV shows. Do you think we missed one? I gotta admit, this was a tough list. There were so many good ones to pick from. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss our next list here on Retro Needy.